Examination of the themes of Ifa divination poems reveals that they represent the traditional Yoruba worldview. The Ifa literary corpus is the storehouse of Yoruba culture, inside which the Yoruba comprehension of their own historical experiences and an understanding of their environment can always be found. Even today, Ifa is recognized by the Yoruba as a repository of Yoruba traditional body of knowledge, embracing history, philosophy, medicine, and folklore. The Ifa literary corpus demands always an oral performance because the client must be physically present before the priest who has to chant the poems from the relevant Odu, very clearly to the hearing of the client and that of any other persons present. The richness of style and language of Ifa poems is very greatly valued and appreciated by the highly poetically conscious Yoruba traditional society. The ordinary Yoruba patronizes the Ifa priests not only because of their belief in the predictions and pronouncements of Ifa, but also because of the aesthetic enjoyment which they derive from listening to the chanting of a form of poetry which is exceedingly rich in style and language. <laughs> The processes of arriving at the signatures of the Odu. When the 16 sacred palm knots are used, the priest puts the 16 knots in his left palm and tries to scoop them out at once with his right palm. Palm. Each time he tries, if one palm knot remains in his left palm, he makes two marks on the divination board. If two palm knots remain, he makes one mark. But if nothing remains, or if more than two palm knots remain in his palm, he makes no marks at all. Each mark is made one below the other four times. When four marks or pair of marks have been made, the pattern thus formed is the signature of a particular Udu. The divining chain may also be used, made of cotton or leather string or brass, is always held in the air. Half knots are tied to each arm of the chain, each of the Okpele half knots tied to the string has a concave and a convex 
surface. When the Ifa priest holds the chain in the middle and throws it forward, all or some of the half knots may come to rest with their concave or convex surfaces facing up. Any pattern so formed on each throw will indicate the particular signature of an odu. There are always the right and the left side of an odu. When the patterns on the right side and that on the left side are identical, it is a major odu. There are only 16 possibilities giving us the 16 principal odu. However, whenever the pattern on the right hand is different from that on the left, it is a combination of two principal odu and it is therefore a minor odu or a mulu odu. There are 240 such possibilities. And that is how we arrive at the 256 overall number. We can have the Odu Ogbe on the right and Odu Oyeku on the left, giving us the minor Odu Ogbe Yeku. It may also be Oyeku on the right and Ogbe on the left, giving us Oyeku Logbe and so on. The 256 Odu are very important in the Ifa divination system. The whole of the Ifa literary corpus, S.A. Ifa, is based on the Odu. And what a priest tells his client is taken directly from the Odu corpus. <laughs> The Ifa Literary Corpus also provides materials for the chants and songs used at the weekly, annual, or special ceremonies. Special verses from relevant chapters are selected for participatory chanting to praise Ifa and to reassure devotees of his blessing.